Okay, C. Lindelof videos. Find an equation for the graph of a trig function. First thing I want to point out, and this is really important, something you should definitely talk to your professor about, is that we're going to find an equation, not necessarily the equation. Because it's, I'm looking at this, this is what's happening with me. I'm looking at this thing. This whole thing is the curve. Hopefully you can make out that it, it's continuous. What I'm doing is I'm picking a cycle or, or a period of the curve. So I'm looking at this period right here, and I'm like, you know what? To me, that looks a lot like a sine curve. It doesn't mean that it is because this thing is, may have been manipulated. So I'm saying, okay, this is a, I'm going to call this a sine curve. From there, I'm going, to go, I'm going to go forward with everything else based on that assumption. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, okay, I believe I have a sine curve, or I can, I can justify that this is a sine curve. So I'm going to say, well, the general equation for a sine curve is y is equal to a sine of omega x plus b plus c. So that's what I, that's, I'm going to start with this template. And if you start with this, you really can't go wrong. So first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start to look at this. I, I didn't write this, but they gave us some other values. So they said that this height is 5, and that this height that corresponds with this is negative 5. So I look at these, and they, this curve seems to be symmetric to the x-axis. So it makes amplitude really easy to find. And this is amplitude right here. Amplitude, we can agree, hopefully, that the distance from this horizontal line of, of symmetry is 5 this way and 5 that way, therefore, line of symmetry. So there I can say, I can assume that the amplitude is 5, the distance from the horizontal line of symmetry to the highest point and lowest point. So I have 5 sine of omega x plus b plus c. Also, I look, because this line of symmetry, this thing is symmetrical to the x-axis, it makes me believe that this thing has not been lifted, so I'm going to put, I'm going to get rid of that, so plus zero there. So far, this is actually not too bad. This is where people get a little bit hung up. Usually what we're going to do next is we have an, a, an equation, and we're going to try to find the period. In this case, they gave us the period, so I look at one cycle. It starts at zero, and it goes, this is two pi, and this is symmetrical. It makes this four pi. This is six pi. There We have symmetry here, so that makes this eight pi. And 8 pi minus 0 is 8 pi. So we have period. So this is what we usually we say. Well, the period is equal to 2 pi over omega. In this case, I know what I know what the period is, but I don't know what omega is. I'm looking for I'm trying to solve for this value right here. So all I'm gonna do is set this up to solve. I calculated this the distance of a cycle. And in this case, the distance of the cycle from 0 to 8 pi is 8 pi. So I'm gonna say if the period is 8 pi then using the formula that we came with, this let's this w is obviously omega. And then I'm just going to solve for w. So solve, I'm going to say it again, solve for omega. So I'm solving for omega. I cross multiply. I get 8 pi omega is equal to 2 pi. Divide both sides by 8 pi, and I get omega is equal to 1 fourth, isn't it? All I'm going to do is go back into here, sub into template. So put this into your template. Template, that's a good spelling, isn't it? Sub that into your template. So I'm going to take this value out, and I said that omega is 1 fourth. So I put omega in as 1 fourth, and here is my final solution. And I, there is no b value, there's no phase shift here. So that's my answer. So I hope this helps. This is not really difficult. You kind of kind of think backwards to the way that you would graph an equation. You graph an equation, and you look for these critical values of the graph. Here, we look at the critical values, and we try to get these things. So here's just a quick recap. First, make some decision. Remember, this is an equation. So I looked at this. I decided this looked a lot like sine. So I was going to chase this as, as if it was sine. Once I did that, I used the template that this is the standard form of a sine curve. And then I started filling in the missing values. All right, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.